Hey, what's up my beautiful people? I thought that we could today do this reading on topic. What's their type? So if you have somebody special in your mind, today we are finding out uh, what is it that makes them tick. So we will have a couple of pals, we will have some Vedic placements too, but let's see. What's their type? Is what we are asking today. My deck is reversed. What's their type? What is their type? Pile one. You guys can see everything but let's see so what I'm getting immediately uh, I was hearing uh, it right as I was putting the cards on the table uh, I'm getting that their type is who, somebody who would be like strong silent intellectual type so somebody who is not overly over there you know uh, so I'm getting that this person likes um, type of partners that are eager to observe their potential crushes a little bit so um, I'm getting that this person appreciates more uh, women or men uh, however you prefer uh, who take their time in order to really estimate their possible outcomes with their uh, person so I'm getting that they do like somebody who will really want to see um, their preferred person in like plentiful of situation before they make a solid decision. So I'm also getting that this person may be uh, liking somebody who is little hard to get sometimes, you know. Uh, it's not to say that they like some, those who play mind games. Uh, it's nothing like that because I do have justice. I'm getting that they do want very transparent and uh, um, direct and straightforward partners, you know. However, what I'm getting is uh, that they do love partners who know how to pace themselves. So this is something really significant. With the Page of Pentacles here, what I'm getting is they also like, uh, that their partners like to represent themselves. Uh, in a very aesthetical way so I'm getting this person may be fond of the type of people who really know exactly what kind of haircut suits them the best what kind of clothes uh, looks good on them uh, they like people that uh, know how to wear things that complement their figure is something that I'm getting uh, when it comes to this pile I'm getting, getting though that they do not like too slim type of uh, figures, so they do like a little bit of curvaceousness or uh, if you are a man and you're wanting to know for your women, they do like a little bit of, uh, you just, you know, healthy musculature but I'm getting not like gym musculature but more like somebody who has played the sports uh, for entire life or something like that so this is something really interesting here with the moon in the ninth house I'm getting this person wants somebody who is very communicative because here we look the direct opposite of the moon's placements for partners indication so which is giving me the third house house of communication, mental interests, hobbies. So I'm getting this person also like uh, likes when their partners have a lot of hobbies to themselves. This is something really amazing. Uh, they do want a multifaceted type of a person, you know. Uh, I'm getting they would be bored with your typical couch potato unless there is a dimension to you as well. For example, some type of weird interest like, let's say, for example, you like steampunk style and uh, clothing uh, items related to this, that. This is just an example. So uh, they do like those who have 
something specific that, that, that is their passion, that is their, uh, you know, reason for getting up in the morning. So this is something uh, interesting. I'm getting that they do like to see the dry hum humor when it comes to people people when it comes to their partners uh, so I'm getting that this is very important to them as well I'm getting that they like secretive type of persons and those who won't really um, reveal everything that's happening in relationship with this person to just everybody so they do want a uh, very private type of affairs you know uh, with the north node in Aries, which gives me expansion of Aries qualities, they do want somebody um, who has this balance of being at times, uh, you know, uh, passive and at times assertive and, uh, you know, driven and a little bit even uh, impulsive in their actions. So uh, they do like the combination, the mixture. Uh, so uh, you will have to be uh, quite balanced with this Libra here as well. And I'm also hearing they like people that have uh, equally developed masculine and feminine qualities. So it may be uh, that they want somebody who is a strong emotional type, but can also uh, lead really interesting intellectual conversations and debates with them uh, is something what I'm getting for this part. Also, I'm getting that this person has very specific type uh, and like all their axes look the same. So if you know any of their axes, uh, you may uh, know their type and try and see how you fit in that uh, pattern, in that, um, how do I say, in that form of what they ask from their partner. So this is something really significant. With Sagittarius and Seven House, I'm getting that, do, that they do like partners that are with three of ones as well, that are quite open in their mindset, mindset that won't immediately perhaps the de, uh, demand the commitment before you guys really met each other and uh, got to know each other better. Uh, this is also something that I was getting with this waiting here uh, or this measuredness, moderateness uh, when it comes to this person. So with the Mars in the 11th house they will want you to uh, be ambitious, to have goals, to strive on your own, to have, um, how do I say it, um, desires independent of this relationship. So uh, the more independent and uh, separate you are as individuality, as personality, this person will, you know, just consider you uh, to be a better partner for them. So this is something really significant. Um, let me see what else I have. I am hearing strongly that they do like people who are, uh, let's say somebody is hitting on you and you will be the type, please, can you be respectful? My date is here. I really don't want to, uh, you know, <clears throat> make a mess of the situation. So they would want somebody who will know how to stand up for this connection and for them and to, uh, you know, put a solid ground around yourselves uh, when the others per other people try to flirt with you guys. So this is something really interesting that I'm getting with the Mars and Leo. What I'm getting strongly, they will want, um, not to say that they demand that, but they do appreciate partners who have strong creative capabilities because Leo may also represent our creativity and Mars is uh, where we pour our actions. So this is something to take into consideration. But let me see what else we have. Mm, I am getting that this person's type is also femme fatale or playboy type of personality. So if you do have a little bit of such kind of an image, this person will dig it very much. So this is something that I'm getting strongly. Also, uh, let me see what else. I am getting that they do like somebody who can challenge them, who can give them different type of perspective on some type of opinion. Uh, if you agree on everything with this person, they won't like it because I am getting that they 
do want their uh, intellectual equal counterpart you know this is something very important for, important for them so try not to compromise your opinions and your own standpoints when it comes to this person I'm getting curly hair for some of you so they may like when person has curly or wavy type of hair if not curly uh, even just more full of volume but you know this is something that can be a little bit manipulated by us so uh, it's nothing to really worry about if you are not that type so but let me see what else we have I am getting that they do like people that, uh, how do I say it, do, do some type of physical uh, discipline. So it may be yoga, um, pilates, something of that nature. So if you do have some type of physical discipline that you practice, it will be a great plus for this person as well. But I will end it up here. This was our first pile. I hope you guys liked this reading. If you did, like and subscribe. And thank you for this. Let's go a little bit further. So today we are checking their type. Their type of partners. This is our second pile. What's their type? What's their preferred type of partners? Okay, I'm already getting some things. First of all, do you see everything? I hope so. Uh, this person wants somebody who will be an open book from the beginning, somebody who is very expressive out there and getting even extroverted a little bit in this pile is screaming extroverted but don't worry if you are not because some qualities can be, um, how do I say, modified or manipulated a little bit. I'm also getting that they do want somebody who will want to travel with them to even try some type of extreme or adventure type of sports like skydiving or paragliding or something of that nature. So this person will want basically partner in their adventures, you know. I'm getting that they want type of type of people that are not afraid to try new things, to try anything once. So this is a person of very worldly, open-minded, global type of views. I'm getting that they do like those who have also this humanitarian streak to them. So if you can somehow show off your, uh, I don't know, work in charity or something like that, this is something that would be a great uh, green light for this person, is what I'm getting. So this is something really significant. I am getting that they um, really do like, um, regardless of their gender, people who are in touch with their feminine side. So this is something uh, beautiful for me. I'm hearing they will want you to be able to express your emotions, you know, unlike, for example, first pile where their stronger need is for an intellectual type of partner this one uh, really wants somebody they may be demisexual you know they want somebody with whom they can connect emotionally uh, is what I'm getting because this person the reason let me tell you for this is because this person uh, is also quite introverted and by themselves and um, internalized very much uh, when it comes to their um, inner um, inner feelings just you know and they do want somebody who will kind of be complementary to them when it comes to that so uh, somebody who will help them get out of their shell because I'm getting some strong introverted but uh, Mm, ambitiously outgoing it ma that makes sense so they're kind of wanting to be more open to the world so they're wanting type of a partner who will 
even nudge them and push them a little bit to do some things that are out of their comfort zone is what I'm hearing. So this is something really significant with the sun in the fourth house. They really want the type of partner who will have uh, quite an established career for themselves. So if you are not already in some um, solid type of uh, path, uh, I would say try and work on your um, career ambitions and status to career because this is something that will be enticing to this person. Mm. I'm getting that they do want a type of a person that will be eager to compliment them to, uh, I don't know, daily tell them things like you're so beautiful to me, you're the most gorgeous woman, the most handsome guy that I ever saw, you know, uh, or find some type of quality that you really dig about them and emphasize that a lot, uh, I'm hearing. So this person does require a little bit of love, love bombing from their partners, but um, they are eager to return the favor, so this is somebody who will be very open and expressive when it comes to what they like about you. I'm getting for some of you I'm hearing uh, nobody will ever brag about you as much as this person will when it comes to your accomplishments, your career, they will be your greatest fan and also when it comes to your beauty, you don't have to think that you are beautiful uh, in a an overly emphasized way but this person will think like that you are like the most beautiful guy or girl in the town so this is something interesting I'm also hearing that this person likes people who have strong gaze to them so try and practice uh, your gaze or uh, your eye contact with this person because I'm getting that they are big on, big on uh, eye contact as well uh, I'm also that getting that this person wants uh, a partner who can give them feminine nourishment uh, regardless of their gender so uh, you know they would want somebody who would try to nurture them somehow even to mother them a little bit uh, but this is not uh, too much you know uh, this is not exaggerated quality of theirs however it is present you know uh, I'm getting they also want somebody who will be eager to go on long walks with them. This is something interesting. Uh, let me see what else. I'm hearing with this they do want somebody who will be eager to discuss problems or issues and even I'm hearing like sexual desires, you know, they do need partner who can easily communicate those matters to them. Um, so this is something beautiful. Mm, let me see what else with the south node in Libra one thing I'm getting is that this person not is not overly demanding when it comes to um, their physical looks of their partners for them it's all about personality it's about feelings you know uh, about the feeling you give them so this is something really significant because south node uh, deprives uh, deprives the place it comes it it comes in of whatever it is for example Libra is beauty aestheticism so uh, with South Node here uh, I'm getting that this person won't be overly um, <clears throat> overly picky when it comes to their partner's physical beauty uh, that's not to say that uh, their potential partners are not but it's just it's not their priority you know uh, so this they really are eager to find somebody who will want to ex explore life and spirituality with them I'm hearing uh, Tantra for some of you like uh, mutual common meditations or like tantric sex uh, Google that if you are not acquainted with the uh, topic but this is something that I'm getting strongly with this seven of cups as well as who here you know this person will want to try some new perhaps exotic things when it comes to even um, you know bedroom or uh, related
participating in those type of matters. So this is something really significant. Let me see what else I have. But you will have to let them know that they are wanted, that they are desired, that they are perhaps your ideal type, you know. Uh, so this is something really significant. They do want a uh, type of partners who know how to take uh, time for themselves as well. And this is really something curious when it comes to this file. But let me see what else we have. With Mercury and Cancer, one thing I'm getting here is that they may be somewhat emotional when they speak. For example, <coughs> they may speak in a very um, heated way or, um, you know, in a deep affect, if that makes sense. For example, they may, may speak angrily or uh, may be upset sometimes for various things, you know. Uh, and it will be shown in their demeanor. However, they would want from a partner. I'm getting the opposite quality. So <clears throat> I'm getting they do they do want somebody who can, you know, uh, have this calm, solidifying presence in their voice. Uh, so this is something significant. Somebody who will be able to speak in. A, uh, called self-maintained manner, you know, this is some something that they are really consciously or subconsciously craving when it comes to their partner. So um, this is something significant. I'm getting that they do do they do um, like um, voice is something very important when when it comes to their choice of partners. I'm getting that uh, they get some some type of Mm, signal from your voice so if they already like you there's something about their about your voice that they like that they prefer uh, so but as I said they would want a partner who has like Mercury in Capricorn for example I have Mercury in Capricorn uh, but you can also explore that placement to find out how it manifest, manifests um, but it's, however, it's a very calm, balanced, composed way of speaking where you don't speak too fast, you're, uh, you don't even speak too much, uh, but whatever you say is very exact, uh, precise and uh, things of that nature. So uh, Google Mercury and Capricorn and try to adopt uh, a little bit of those qualities too if you want to get this person. I think I will end it here for the second pile. I hope you guys liked this reading. If you did, like and subscribe. And thank you for listening.